Do you know what you're eating? When you pick up a fruit or vegetable at the grocery store, do you consider where it came from and how it was made? Well, the truth is, many of the foods we eat every day have been genetically modified in some way. In this video, we'll explore the world of genetically modified foods and how they have become a part of our daily lives. The debate surrounding genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, and their effects on human health and the environment has been ongoing for several years. Despite this controversy, the majority of us continue to consume GM foods regularly, whether we are aware of it or not. Genetically modified organisms are created when scientists modify the DNA of an organism, typically by inserting genes from another organism. This results in a plant or animal with new characteristics, such as a resistance to pests or improved nutritional content. So, what genetically modified food are we eating every day? Well, the truth is that it's hard to say for sure. Many processed foods contain ingredients that are derived from genetically modified crops, such as corn and soybeans. Additionally, many fruits and vegetables have been genetically modified to some extent, although this is often done through traditional breeding methods rather than genetic engineering. Many of the foods we eat every day have been genetically modified in some way. Let's take a look at a few examples. Corn Corn is one of the most commonly genetically modified foods. About 90% of the corn grown in the U.S. is genetically modified. Corn has been modified to resist pests and tolerate herbicides. It has also been modified to have a higher yield. Soybeans Like corn, soybeans are also commonly genetically modified. About 94% of the soybeans grown in the United States are genetically modified. Soybeans have been modified to resist pests and tolerate herbicides. Cottonseed oil Cotton is not just used for clothing and textiles, but also for oil. Cottonseed oil is commonly used in cooking and can be found in many processed foods. However, about 90% of cotton grown in the United States is genetically modified. Tomatoes which was the first genetically modified food to hit the market back in 1994. Scientists engineered this tomato to resist softening and rotting, allowing it to be harvested and transported over long distances without getting damaged. They have also been modified to have a more uniform color and size. Papayas In the 1990s, the papaya industry was facing devastation from a deadly virus. Scientists were able to save the industry by creating a genetically modified papaya that was resistant to the virus. Today, about 80% of the papayas grown in Hawaii are genetically modified. Genetically modified foods have been developed to provide several benefits, including Increased crop yields Genetic modification can make crops more resistant to pests, diseases, and environmental stress, which can result in higher crop yields. Improved Nutritional Content Genetic modification can be used to increase the nutritional content of certain foods, such as making rice that is enriched with vitamin A to combat vitamin A deficiency in developing countries. Reduced Use of Pesticides and Herbicides Some genetically modified crops are engineered to be resistant to pests and herbicides, which can reduce the amount of pesticides and herbicides needed to grow crops. Longer Shelf Life Genetic modification can be used to increase the shelf life of certain foods, which can reduce food waste and increase the availability of certain foods in areas where refrigeration is not readily available. Enhanced Flavor Genetic modification can be used to enhance the flavor of certain foods, such as tomatoes that have been modified to be sweeter. Lower Costs Genetic modification can make crops easier to grow and more resistant to pests and diseases, which can result in lower costs for farmers and consumers. The problem is that it's difficult to know whether the foods we're eating contain GMOs or not. In the U.S., there are no regulations requiring food companies to label their products as containing GMOs. One of the biggest concerns with genetically modified food is the potential impact on our health. While there is no conclusive evidence that genetically modified food is harmful to humans, there are certainly some red flags. For example, 
Some studies have shown that genetically modified crops can lead to an increase in allergies and other health problems. Additionally, there are concerns about the long-term effects of consuming genetically modified food, as we simply don't know what the consequences might be. However, here are some potential concerns that have been raised. Allergic reactions. Genetic modification can introduce new proteins into foods, which could potentially trigger allergic reactions in some people. Resistance to antibiotics. Some genetically modified crops have been engineered to resist antibiotics, which could contribute to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Environmental risks. Genetically modified crops may have unintended side effects on the environment, such as the creation of superweeds that are resistant to herbicides. Reduced biodiversity. If genetically modified crops become dominant, they could reduce the genetic diversity of crops, which could make them more vulnerable to pests and diseases. While there is no conclusive evidence that genetically modified foods are harmful to human health, some studies have suggested a link between GMOs and certain health problems, such as allergies, cancer, and reproductive issues. More research is needed to fully understand the potential long-term impacts of genetically modified foods on human health. Another concern with genetically modified food is the impact on the environment. Many genetically modified crops are designed to be resistant to pesticides and herbicides, which means that farmers can use more of these chemicals without damaging the crops. However, this can lead to a buildup of these chemicals in the soil and water, which can have negative effects on the environment and wildlife. So what can we do to protect ourselves and the environment from the potential risks of genetically modified food? One option is to choose organic foods, which are not allowed to contain genetically modified ingredients. Another option is to look for products that are labeled as non-GMO, although it's important to know that these labels are not regulated and may not be entirely accurate. So why is GM labeling not mandatory in America? Well, one reason is that many GM crops are not substantially different from their non-GM counterparts, and therefore do not require special labeling. Additionally, some argue that mandatory labeling would create unnecessary costs for farmers and food producers and that it would confuse and mislead consumers. Ultimately, the best thing we can do is to educate ourselves about genetically modified food and make informed choices about what we eat. We need to demand more transparency from food companies and government agencies, and we need to support research into the long-term effects of genetically modified food on our health and the environment. In conclusion, genetically modified food is a complex and controversial topic that affects all of us. While there are certainly some benefits to genetically modified crops, there are also some potential risks that we need to be aware of. By educating ourselves and making informed choices, we can help to ensure that we're eating food that is safe for us and the environment. Thank you for watching, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos like this.